Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, Turn discuss further into shifted conics and now look at example three. And this time we'll go over uh, shifting an ellipse. So let's just jump right in. And the example I'm going to go over is this one right here. It states find an, an equation of the ellipse with foci two, uh, negative two, and the point four and negative two and vertices one negative two and five negative two. Yeah, so now what uh, we can see from here, first thing we'll notice is that if we're looking for an ellipse, these are the foci and vertices, all of them are on, uh, on the same y uh, coordinate or horizontal line right here. So if you make a horizontal line where y equals to negative two for all values of x, you get a horizontal line. In other words, we have a horizontal ellipse. Yeah, let's write this down, horizontal ellipse. Yeah, and I'll just write this here because the foci and vertices are on the same uh, horizontal plane. Fo foci and vertices, yeah, here I just wrote it uh, right now, they're on the same horizontal line, uh, y equals to negative two, like that. And now before I uh, uh, plot these coordinates, what I'm going to do now is, well, recall for shifting ellipses or uh, shifting uh, horizontal ellipses. So shifting horizontal ellipses. Yeah, here, just uh, write that down over there. So recall in my earlier videos on shifted conics and shifting horizontal ellipses, uh, what we have is an ellipse of a horizontal one looks like this, x over a squared plus yeah, plus y squared over b squared is an equation of an ellipse. And basically here where vertices uh, or where, where the vertices are, this is for just at the origin, so this one is at, uh, this is at zero, zero uh, center. So where the origin is the center, and then I'll show you how we can shift it. So this has vertices at zero and uh, plus or minus a, and then the foci are at uh, zero plus or minus c, and where c squared equals to a squared minus b squared. So again, make sure to watch my earlier video, I'll put the link in the description below, where I covered the equation of an ellipse. And then when we graph this out, it looks something like this. Let's make it like this, because we're gonna shift it. So this is y, this is our x. So if that's at the origin here, then we have c is here. This is negative c. These are the foci right here. And then here is the vertices a. This one's a as well over there, negative a. Uh, and then we have on the b side, it's going to look something like this. That's going to be positive b. And this is going to be over here, negative b like this on the y-axis. And then you graph this out, you get a ellipse like that. Yeah, here I just uh, fix up that ellipse. So this is the origin right here at the uh, zero mark or zero, zero mark. And uh, recall that the foci right here is at any point on the ellipse, just recall the definition, the distance all the way across from here uh, to here, the distance from this to this point and then added from this to this point is gonna be constant. And then uh, this is the ellipse right there, the equation. Let's write that down, x squared. It's gonna be x squared over a squared uh, plus y squared over b squared equals to one. And now recall that uh, when we shift this, so if we shift this, let's say this whole ellipse over here, so shift uh, all the way so that the origin now, instead of zero, zero, we shift it to h and k. Let's just go to this point h. K is the uh, is the new uh, origin right there. Then we'll just draw the exact same ellipse. It looks something like this. Yeah. So this is the ellipse right there, and this is going to be now the formula for this recall. It's going to be x minus h squared over a squared plus, and then we just uh, minus on the k, on the y now y minus k. So we're shifting it from zero zero all the way to h and k, the center. This is squared over b squared equals to one. All right, so now that I've uh, recapped that quickly, uh, now we could just go look back at our case. So now our foci is two, negative two, and four, negative two, and the vertices are at one and five, and then again, uh, negative two is there. So two, four, one, five. And uh, let's see if those were, yeah, two, four is the 
uh, foci and vertices the other one so I'll just write that here uh, thus in our case right here what we have is uh, the foci are at I'll just write foci like this at uh, 2 and negative 2 and 4 negative 2 and the other one was now for the vertices like this are going to be at at 1 negative 2 and then we have 5 negative 2 so if we were to graph this out it would look something like this or so just graph those points out it's the x this is the y so the foci is at 2 and negative 2 so we go 1 2 and then go down 1 2 so this is the foci I'll write this as f uh, 1 right there or actually I'll just uh, ignore that just just leave it like this this is gonna be 2 and this is uh, negative 2 and I'll just write this in uh, bracket right here 1 and I mean uh, 2 and uh, negative 2 so 2 negative 2 and likewise for the second one we go over here at the 4 so we go 1 uh, this is going to be 3 1 and then 4 we go down here this is going to be at the 4 negative 2 so those are the foci and then there's the 5 over here this is going to be 5 and then this is going to be at the 1 over here so this is the vertices it's going to look like that and then yeah then here I'll put this uh, over here like this this is at this point this is going to be at 1 and negative 2 and then this one just put it around here 5 and negative 2 so in other words it's gonna look something like this I'll just uh, circle it around not sure exactly where it's gonna go it might go over it might go under <laughs> I'll graph it out with the uh, graphing calculator afterwards so it goes something like this there is our shape and now what we could do is just look at where the center would be and the center just by symmetry you just look at it it's gonna be at the 3 so 2 and 4 in between is gonna be right here this is the center and that center is going to be 3 and negative 2 like that so we could think of it being shifted from the 0 0 mark over here all the way over to this point so I'll be like uh, like this we just do uh, shift yeah so now if that is the new center right here I'll just put a C like that so we're shifting all the way over here and then uh, the difference actually uh, since C's already taken I'll just leave it like that that's going to be now the, dif the difference between from here to here that's going to be well that's just going to be 4 minus 3 like this this is just going to be 4 minus 3 so in other words you have 4 minus 3 is just 1 so that difference is just going to be I'll just write it here 4 minus 3 equals 1 well equals C and then from uh, here all the way to this point that's going to be the vertices that's going to be 5 minus 3 equals to 2 and that equals to our A because now this is our new center point over here put this a bit better like that so that's our new center point like that yeah so thus what we have is thus we have uh, now we what we have is our this is our new center point there so we have H and K as, as going above here is shifted over to there HK equals to 3 and negative 2 there's a new center and then what we have is C is equal to 1 so C equals to 1 A equals to 2 and then we also recall the equation above this one it to solve for B so C squared equals A squared minus B squared so then we have C squared equals A squared minus B squared and then this means that well we can um, move this over or I'll just move uh, the B onto this side and then this onto this side so we get B squared equals 2 uh, then what we have is A squared minus C squared which equals to 2 squared minus C squared is equals to 4 minus 1 equals to 3 so then what we have is B is equal to well square root uh, 3 and then we have yeah right here is plus or minus but we'll just look at the plus here when you square both sides like that so that is our new B value or or it is our B value so thus what we have is the equation is going to be uh, X 
minus h, which is 3, like that over there. Well, let's put this uh, whole equation first. Like this, x minus h over a squared plus uh, y minus k squared over b squared equals to 1. And now this becomes x minus, and then we have h. h is our now 3, so x minus 3 squared over, over a squared a is 2, so then we have 2 squared plus y minus, and now this one is going to be y minus uh, 2. Yeah, so y minus the negative 2, in other words, we're doing a y minus like that, square this over, so y minus negative 2, and this is going to be 1 squared, because that is our um, actually, not, not one squared, it's uh, this one, square root th 3 squared. And, and like that. So we need to just look at the positive because we just want the positive values. For now, it doesn't matter which one you use, so it's looking to get the same answer. So anyways, this equals to now equals to 1, like that. And then we could just uh, simplify this even further. So this becomes x minus 3 squared over 4. 2 squared is 4, like that. And then plus y plus 2 squared, and then this one here, square root 3 squared is just going to be 3. And that equals to 1. Like that. So there is our equation of the ellipse that's shifted, and all, we're, all that we were given were the foci and vertices. And here what I've done is I've just uh, plotted this in the, um, yeah, in the Amazing Desmos calculator, just to see what we get here. And here is the normal one without this 3 and 2, or negative 2. And then it goes from here, so there's the 0, 0. And as you can see, this is our x minus 3 in black. And this shifts all the way here. So this is 2, this is 3, 4. Actually, no, it's a, this is 2.5, this is 3. And this is at the 2 mark, so this is our 3 and negative 2. And you can see our vertices at the f uh, 4. There's a 2, and there, I mean, those are the foci. And there's the vertices right here at the 1. And then this is at the 5 over there. So yes, interesting, interesting stuff. And you can see it move straight over there. Anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully you'll have followed along this um, yeah, pretty good example on shifting ellipses, just using uh, the, the concepts I've shown in my earlier videos on shifted conics. And it's basically you, uh, you would have to minus on the x and y for wherever you want to shift. So if you want to shift to... 3, negative 2, you have to minus 3 on the x, and then minus uh, negative 2 on the y, like this. And then you get the shifted one. And also you could uh, use a definition of ellipse to uh, determine what the foci and vertices are. I'm going to determine how to put that in the equation and so on. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below, as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. So follow me at MES. And also... Make sure to uh, check out my uh, Discord chat room and uh, vote Reddit and vote forums and post any cool math or science related stuff you find. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.